Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is how to replace your paper diary with a Surface Pro. Now, it's been a little while since I've used a paper diary. I've been a digital convert for a long time. But from what I can remember, people use a paper diary to not only keep a a schedule of what's coming up and to schedule forward events, but also to take notes about what's happening during the day. It's very convenient. It just works. We don't have to charge it. We don't have to deal with technical issues that'll come along. And it's very simple to work with. We just take a pen and we start writing. However, there are some significant downsides to using a paper diary. For example, it's very difficult to share the content that's in your paper diary with other people. If I want to invite somebody to an event or to an upcoming meeting, then the paper diary is really not going to work for that. Another disadvantage of the paper diary is that you probably run out of space and taking your daily notes at times and you might end up cramming a lot of extra bits of paper into your diary. It becomes a bit of a mess. Also, if I want a reminder to pop up or if I want to look forward at different events and also into the past, it can be a little tricky to do. For example, my paper diary from last year, where is that? Well, it's probably tucked away in a drawer somewhere. So the question is, how do we replace that paper diary with a Surface Pro? Well, one way of going about it would be to just use OneNote as effectively a paper diary. For example, you could set up a 2019 notebook and in that notebook, you might have a tab across the top for each of the months of the year and then down the side, a page for each particular day. The downside of that approach is that you don't get any of the benefits of a digital calendar or diary. It's also a lot of setup. You've really got to go through and create all of those sections and pages and notebooks manually. Instead of replicating your paper diary in OneNote, most people will eventually move to using a digital calendar or diary like Microsoft Outlook. In Microsoft Outlook and using Office 365, not only will be, you be able to schedule your appointments in a digital diary, you'll be able to see reminders and you'll be able to see that diary across all of your different devices. And also you'll be able to email those meetings and those appointments to the people who need to be there. So you can really be collaborative with them. Use OneNote together with Outlook to link your notes that you wanna take for your meetings with those digital calendar appointments. In OneNote, you can use the meeting details function to insert the details from Outlook straight onto a page. In Outlook, you can also open up an existing appointment and send the details from Outlook straight into OneNote. It's effectively the same thing, but we're just driving it from a different place. Because you have these dynamic links between your Outlook calendar and your OneNote pages, you no longer need to keep these pages in a date-based arrangement. So we don't need to have a notebook that says 2019, for example. Instead, we can create notebooks that reflect the teams of people that we worked with or the projects that we're currently working on. We can then create pages in those specific locations. Those pages could be live shared in real time with those people who are attending the meeting. Rotate your device around into the portrait mode. Take your notes as handwritten notes on the page in OneNote. Also, remember to put lines onto the page so that you're taking notes on something that looks just like your A4 paper diary. We'll link to some videos here that will help you adopt that process. In OneNote, we have that search function in the top right that allows us to search through our notes in a way that you could never hope to with your paper diary. Searching in OneNote, searches typed text, handwritten notes, and even pictures and images. I have OneNote notes that go all the way back to 2003 in my personal notebook. I have 15 years of notes that I carry with me on my device. Now, I very rarely go back to those notes from 2003. However, I do regularly go back to notes from 2017, 2016, sometimes even 2015, to bring up relevant information to things that I'm dealing with today. Hopefully you can see that your Surface Pro, Outlook and OneNote can replace your paper diary. However, you'll need to learn a few new things and change a few of your habits before you can use it effectively. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips. If you found this tip helpful, what is it, quick? 
Um, I just came up with the biggest, coolest thing ever. What if you had your Wi-Fi box in the car? <laughs> That's a great idea, mate. Anyway, I'll talk to you about it. I'll show you later. <laughs> From what did I say? Remember? You're not a human transcription service, are you? <laughs>